Well, new for you now on the Capitol Watch, many of us might associate post-traumatic stress disorder with veterans. But PTSD is something that affects a lot of first responders as well. And now a bill that would address those mental health issues is a step closer to getting those first responders help. KTVB Shira Matsuzawa is here to walk us through that bill. Indeed, the first responders trauma bill might be one step closer, but there are still a lot of hoops to jump through before this bill is a done deal. On any given day, first responders are faced with situations most of us will never encounter. This, these are people who see things on a daily basis that you or I would only experience in our nightmares. From shootings to fires and everything in between, first responders put their lives on the line and the images they see have a lasting effect. Yeah, when I started in the fire service 23 years ago, you definitely did not show any weakness. And I can remember going on calls and seeing horrific events and going in the bathroom and just tearing up seeing the tragedy I just saw and you, you were afraid to go talk to anybody about it. Right now the Workman's Compensation Fund does not cover mental health issues for first responders unless it's accompanied by a physical injury. So in other words I have to hurt my back to get to seek counseling for PTSD. Right now if you have a first responder who suffers from uh, PTSD they actually have to take personal leave. They have to take vacation or sick time to be able to go and deal with that. But a bill presented by Idaho's House Minority Leader aims to change that. Our first responder bill takes our Workman's Compensation Insurance Fund and it adds a critical component to help them with their mental health. And we often don't talk about the things that are also in the shadows, and that is they have, this field has some of the highest substance abuse rates of any field in the country. This field has one of the highest suicide rates of any field in the country. They have one of the highest divorce rates of any field in the country. Eagle Fire Department's Battalion Chief Rob Shoplock has seen that happen firsthand. And this year we've lost more members, uh, police and fire and EMS workers to suicide than we did in the line of duty. And what is going on is they're bundling it up. So what we want to do is identify that as an occupational um, injury and start getting the treatment needed for our members. Next, the bill will move to a full hearing in the Senate. It will need to pass there before it moves to the House. There was similar legislation that failed to pass in the 1990s. Money was a major part of why it didn't pass then. So this time around, the bill has included a four-year sunset clause, which means they will reevaluate or evaluate total costs in a four-year period. Representative Erpel excuse me, tells me he does have support from legislators across the aisle at this point in hopes the sunset clause will address any cost concerns for lawmakers who may be on the fence. Dee? All right, Shira, thank you for that.